and express my willingness to work on both sides so that there are areas of convergence which still allow us to discuss what is not working and to see how to change what is not working because we have the historical responsibility and the legacy of our founding fathers in relation to this whole to fight within the ECOWAS together so that the ECOWAS remains what it should never have ceased to be. That is an organ of integration which was cited as an example that we must perpetrate, that we must strengthen, and that we must protect against all the truth that goes into the meaning of deviating the ECOWAS from its Africa integration goals. Africa, wake up. Africa, rise up. Africa, without borders. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. My brother, friend, President Ibrahim Traoré, for the warm welcome and fraternal which was reserved for me as well as for my delegation and with his voice thank all of Burkina Bay people for this welcome. It is a visit under the sign of friendship, of fraternity, but it is also a working visit that I came to perform. I also came to say thank you to President Traoré and the people of Burkina Bay for having dispatched a delegation in Dakar during my performance of oath, and it was an honor to me and all the Senegalese people on this solemn occasion, but I, above all, came to reaffirm to him my commitment and commitment of Senegal to side with the broader people of Burkina Faso and to invite them so that together we can work to strengthen relationships between the two countries on the commercial plan in terms of exchanges on the level of integration and possibly circulation between the two countries also through the Mariam stage for better circulation of goods and people in the sense of achieving Africa integration which is very important to us and I come to tell him all my solidarity and my fraternity with the brotherly Burkina Bay people in the difficult period he is going through but also seeing my admiration for valor of these people their combativeness and their resilience and I know that the dignity and the honor they show I mean the Burkina Bay with their leadership allowed very quickly with the active solidarity with a country like Senegal and other African countries to try off and face the challenges that somehow is delaying the takeoff of all African countries particularly in the Sahel we have common challenges that is today the security challenge which is the most significant the challenge of irregular migration the challenges of fight against human trafficking and trafficking in illicit substances and it's only in the consultation the exchange of information joint operation that we can succeed together to take over the search of modern time which are corrupting today many countries and which delay as i said earlier with my takeoff from these countries i will leave burkina faso very comfortable by the open-mindedness and the availability of the president Ibrahim Traoré, but above all of its availability to strengthen with us the Dakar Waga axis for further developed exchanges and cooperation. We also discuss the subject of ECOWAS as I did in the countries I visited so far. And I understand today that positions are somewhat fixed, but I perceive in each of these positions, we're holding its position, an opening window which can allow a thread to be tied, if held, to be dialogue. I always have the habit to say, 
Today, we see it at the ECOWAS level that the doors of dialogue are closed again, but that we should not close the windows and draw the curtains, that we must leave spaces to help us argue about the false but empty what is in us, but above all, to allow countries that are a little bit further away on the physical plan of the operation linked to the security to understand what the countries that live directly on the ground are living and have more compassion to feel more concerned because the surges there is always a starting zone but when we see the expansion today we know that no country is spared neither directly or indirectly that's why i take advantage of this friendship and work this is, which are particularly focused on bilateral cooperation but i take advantage of it to address this question and say my availability to continue work on both sides so that there are areas of convergence that still allow us to discuss what is not working and to see how to fix what is not working because we have the responsibility history and legacy of our founding fathers in relation to this to fight within the ECOWAS together so that the ECOWAS remains that she should never have stopped being an organ of integration which has been cited as an example that we must perpetuate that we must strengthen and that we must protect against all the truths which go in the direction to deviate the ECOWAS from its objectives of African integration and what is its nature, namely the ECOWAS of the people and that it continues to be that and that above all she continues to be a framework where we address together the challenge I cited earlier. The President of the Republic of Senegal, Basil Dumaifai, Arrive in Ouagadougou on the 30th of May 2024 for a friendly and working visit. He was welcomed by the President of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traoré. During this first visit of the new Senegalese Head of State to Burkina Faso, the two presidents had a working session at the Presidential Palace of Kuluba, during which they examined files of common interest informed the presidency of Burkina Faso. After the work, Senegalese president Basil Jumai Fai spoke. Africa, wake up. Africa, rise up. Africa, without borders. Africa, continental free trade area. The time is now. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.